German Army's mechanized infantry units started to use the Sonderkraftfahrzeugs for special purpose vehicle 251 half track in 1939 and used it until the last day of the conflict. But in the last few months of the war, Germany developed a new type of vehicle, the Gepanzerter Mannschaftstransportwagen, or literally the armored personal carrier. The ability to maneuver in the field with tanks was a major advantage over earlier designs and led to the dedicated APC design that was introduced by almost all armies immediately after the war. The initial idea for the vehicle was the same, to transport a single squad of 10 Panzergrenadiers to the battlefield protected from enemy fire and with protection from artillery fire. In addition, the standard mounting of at least one MG42 machine gun allowed the vehicle to provide suppressive fire for the rifle squad both while they dismounted and in combat. While climbing out of the hull and jumping down potentially under fire was challenging, the obvious difficulty of getting into a vehicle that was designed to prevent enemy soldiers climbing onto it was quickly appreciated. The armor of the new APC provided protection not only against normal AP rounds, but against anti-tank guns as well. Positive aspects of the open top included great situational awareness, the faster exit by the infantry, as well as the ability to throw grenades and fire over the top of the fighting compartment as necessary while remaining under good horizontal cover. The downside, as with all armored personal carriers of the era, was a major vulnerability to all types of plunging fire. This included indirect fire from mortars and field artillery, as well as small arms fire from higher elevated positions, lobbed hand grenades, Molotov cocktails and of course enemy aircraft. Auto Union delivered two prototypes between 1944 and 1945. The shape of the hull was similar to the hull of the Tiger II heavy tank, but it was significantly smaller. The vehicle had a front wheel drive with five or six overlapping steel wheels, which possibly resembled the suspension system of the E-25 tank destroyer, which was never built. The power was provided by a Maybach HL50 engine, which delivered 200 horsepower. Auto Union was hired to stop work on their design and instead BMW was hired to adopt the Hetzer tank destroyer chassis for the role. Unfortunately, there isn't further information about this vehicle. One can rightly say that this was the first full-track APC in the world that was designed and built purely for the purpose of bringing infantry safely across the battlefield. Although the project inherited the roof of the earlier half-tracks, which was open at the top, according to some information, the German army also developed the armored personal carrier concept of an all-around closed APC as well.